Well, I know Jason definitely has a couple questions on this opportunity, but I think before we get to that, we have to, I think a lot of people are wondering about this Obama question, because you've said some very provocative things. And we have one question in here I'd like to read. Uh, you have suggested in recent discussions that Obama is on his way down. And you've even raised the possibility that the entire Syria operation could be part of a setup in that operation. Can you explain your thinking on this? Clearly, as far back as 2008, 2009, you uniquely uh, and very loudly declared this man has a narcissistic personality, and this is an, uh, defining this presidency. But can you expand upon your assessment now? Yes, first of all, I'm not an amateur. And I generally know what I'm doing because um, I'm a professional in this business. I've been an expert in, in forecasting, and there's no magic in forecasting. There are, there are principles involved. And it, it, we know what, what happens. Now, what we're dealing with is a situation where you have to dump this president. He is becoming increasingly unpopular. He's making terrible mistakes all the time, one after the other. He's ripe for, to be dumped. And the best thing that could happen would be to dump him immediately. He, he is actually, in my view, immediately impeachable. And I think that the impeachment of this president should be one of the things that come up on the discussions which are now about to begin in Washington. When, when Congress comes back to meet, the first thing on the agenda, or at least on the, on the minds of people, should be, why do we impeach this bum? He's guilty as hell. Just let impeach him. Change the subject. People will have a fresh view of things, and if you, whatever we can do quickly, we can actually probably work our way through. It does mean we have to clean out down, Wall Street's going to have to take a burn. They're going to have to take a, a fall, huh? and there'll be things like that. But we can do it, and I think, now, I think there's no, no alternative except that. This is just plain fact. There's nothing that we can do. I know what can be done. Uh, I know what will happen. I think, I think, first of all, I think Obama is already marked for dumping. On top, not only is he worth, worthless to anyone, he's worthless to the United States. He's worthless to anyone I can think of. Maybe the British Queen likes him. But he's a useless tool. He's only making trouble. He's stupid. He doesn't know what he's talking about most of the time. And he's, you know, double talking all the rest of the time. So I think the point is we are in a situation where you can't talk about solutions unless this guy is dumped or put under restraint, restraint in some other way. But he's got to be taken off the shelf. No longer is he marketable. And that's where we stand. And this crazy Summers, Summers is a clown. I don't see how he can make it. He's really, he's despised in Harvard, where he was housed. He's despised by most people in the United States already for some, many years. Why should somebody want to put that guy in? I think this guy, the suggestion of Summers, is just one more reason to dump the president. If he's, got, if he's proposing Summers, and he's already a bum, that is, the president is, then I think probably both of them, Summers and the president, should probably go out together.